Hi there, this is Paul Walker from Tecla Structures UK um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to model in a 3D curved ramp within Tecla Structures. Um, once you've got Tecla Structures open, come to File, Insert Reference Model, um, find the reference model you'd like to insert on your drive, OK, Apply, OK, pick Insertion Point. Once you've got the model in, you can then move it to where you'd like it to go in your model relative to your grid. We'll just put it here for now. Um, the next thing we do, uh, just to help us out, is put a couple of construction lines in. We want from the start of the radius, it's perpendicular, and the end of the radius, it's perpendicular, just like that. Um, next thing we do is we select the concrete slab tool, um, and we do it in sections. So first of all, we pick the bottom straight part of the slab and the middle mouse to finish the curved section of the slab, pick the start point of the radius point along the radius and the end point and the start point point along the radius and the end point middle button to finish and finally pick the top part of the slab Just that. I've picked a point incorrectly there, so I'll just move that just like that um, if we then rotate the view into 3D it will give us more of a, an idea of what we're adjusting um, while we're working live with the model um, if we double click on a node point uh, we get the chamfer properties um, if we select these two endpoints here and we say we're doing a 3 meter high ramp we can change these both to 3 meters and hit modify and as you can see these points are moved up to 3 meters um, if we select the next set of nodes along and we say this level is 1500 that will then put the ramp into 1500 high position and um, then move on to the curved section of the slab select these two nodes and we say we want 1500 again and 1500 um, with these central nodes um, it's a bit different if we double click one of them to load the properties up control alt select the second one um, and then on the chamfer type if we change this to a double radius and Again, though, we just um, type in here a meter and 800 for the level, oops, sorry, and a meter. And that puts it in there, and it also gives us this nice radius edge to follow the profile of the curve. Next, to the bottom two, uh, so you give those. A level of 500 each, just like that, and then finally the bottom one. Double click to load its properties, Control and Alt, select the second one, and that's to be 500, and that's to be 500. Modify, and you can see very quickly there we built a 3D curved ramp. Um, if this were going to be a cast in place solid object, for example can quite quickly create a similar ramp um, of a depth by highlighting the properties again and if we change these to not we can build up a ramp of thickness like so change all these to not finally the last one
and that gives us a solid object 3D ramp if you've got any further questions um, I'd like to get in touch uh, my email is paul.walker at tecla.com uh, I'd like to hear from you uh, thanks for your time goodbye